My aerated windrow looks good on the outside and the temperatures are great. The aeration increases the temperature compared to a non-aerated pile consisting of the same mix, composted at the same time. With my passively aerated pile, the oxygen content is near zero and there's little temperature development. I wonder what's happening inside my aerated windrow. It's great to see the higher temperatures. It feels like it's composting much better. I limited the aeration, so perhaps it wouldn't dry out quite so fast. I started with a higher moisture content as well. I could see a few preferential air pathways develop, which I expected. The inside of the windrow shows a much different picture. The compost blend is 40% wood chips, 30% poultry litter, and 30% spent mushroom compost. The wood chips were outside all winter, so they were very wet. I blended the materials using a compost turner to get a thorough mix. The moisture content of the mix was 65%, and I piled it 8 feet high on an aeration pipe, covered it with a breathable cover, and turned on the blower. The temperatures went to 70 and then to 80 degrees Celsius within a few days. After four weeks, I pulled the cover off the aerated windrow. Look what I found inside. Extensive areas of very dry material where obviously the compost process had stopped. Some of the columns of dry material were below 35% moisture, so it's clear that microbial activity would have stopped in these areas. Some of this drying would have started fairly soon after I started aerating it. I mixed the compost after four weeks. I expect that the compost will not be mature after these eight weeks of composting. For comparison, I took some of this same mix and composted it under optimal oxygen conditions of greater than 16%. After five weeks and mixing this batch three times, the compost had a moisture content of 55%, a sulfita rating of 8, and a carbon dioxide evolution rate of 1.8 grams of carbon dioxide carbon per gram of organic matter per day. It exceeded maturity requirements. It was described as very well aged, possibly over aged. The lesson that I'm learning is that aerated composting is great. It speeds up the compost process considerably compared with no aeration. However, I'm finding that the drying is slowing the compost process and I would benefit from mixing it more often and maintaining adequate moisture throughout the mix. My goal is to optimize the compost process both in time and in space. Where we live, composting real estate is expensive because of our high rainfall climate and the need to protect the process from all this rain. My name is John Paul. I'm a soil scientist and waste management specialist. Thank you.